Hey Virgos, how are you guys doing? Okay, we are going to do your love reading, Virgos. I will be taking a look into your energies um, surrounding this connection, okay, with whoever is on your mind, okay? And then I will also take a look at their energies as well, okay? So this is for whoever is on your mind right now, okay? Um, also, since it's a general love reading for Virgo, uh, this isn't going to resonate for all of you, so just take what you can and leave the rest. My readings are timeless, though, okay? So whenever you find this, uh, you're meant to see this message, all right? Go ahead and get started. What is the energy of Virgo towards the person on their mind? Energy of Virgo. You. Two of Swords. King of Wands. Oh, two cups in reverse. Let's get three more here. So this person might be a fire sign. They don't necessarily have to be, okay? Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We've got moon energy here. That's Pisces. Okay, let's see. Okay, Tower, Temperance, Sagittarius. Your overall energy is, is Ace of Cups in reverse. So it doesn't look like you want to offer this person your emotions right now, at least right now. Okay, I'll also excuse this thing on my thumb. Just ignore it. Uh, I can't avoid it right now. Um, looks like you're trying to make some type of decision, maybe about telling this person um something you've been keeping from them okay up to this point or something you would like to reveal okay you've got the moon you also have this two of swords energy which is trying to you know make a decision all right king of swords i mean sorry king of wands it's that fire energy um It could also mean, if this person isn't a fire sign, it could also just mean maybe you're trying to control uh, the situation somehow. And we've got the tower here, okay? Some some kind of change is happening with you, all right? It either happened recently or it's going to happen. The tower is all about changes, okay? It's usually the change that the universe um, kind of sends in, all right? Something that needs to be changed that we aren't changing. You do have two of cups in reverse, okay? A two of cups, that's a, you know, it's a close bond with someone, right? Maybe you don't feel that this person is the person for you, all right? It is in reverse. Uh, and temperance is here, Sagittarius energy, but this is divine timing, patience, balance. So it's also a very healing energy. You may just be thinking at this point that this is not the right time for you and this person, okay? You may just need some more time to maybe make up your mind, all right? Let's get some cards for this person. What's the energy of the person on Virgo's mind in regards to this connection? What's the person's energy on Virgo's mind? Six of Wands, Eight of Swords, a little bit of anxiety, energy of the person in Virgo's mind, King of Cups in reverse, yeah, energy of the person, thank you, King of Pentacles, Taurus Virgo, Capricorn, that's your energy. 
Knight of Wands in reverse. They may be somewhat. Um, push this down a little more. They may be dating other people, or they may be. You know, maybe this is more of a casual relationship if you if you're already dating this person. This Knight of Wands here, um, it is fire energy, but typically it's somebody who's more casually dating or doesn't want a commitment, okay? Um, they may be changing their mind about that or going back and forth because we have the Eight of Swords and it's right here with this Knight of Wands in reverse. So they're anxious about something, okay? Uh, and King of Cups in reverse. They're either really confused emotionally or or they don't want to share their emotions with you at this time. Seven of Wands, they may be a little bit defensive about something as well. But they do have the Six of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Uh, King of Pentacles is very stable energy, okay? Uh, it can mean commitment. Is it, it is a pentacle uh, with the Six of Wands, which, so I do feel like they see you as commitment potential, okay, at some point. Right now, I don't see them in that energy. You do have Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. Okay, that is another card of uh, commitment here. So, let's go back over to your energy and get some clarifiers here. Let's see what's going on with this Two of Swords. Why is this Two of Swords here, please? Why is the Two of Swords here? Four Cups in Reverse. For some of you, okay, now you got the moon again in reverse. I think some of you knew this person maybe as a friend, okay, and then and then the energy started to shift. Um, maybe they wanted to be more than friends, all right. Um, it's like there's something you didn't notice before that you're now noticing. Or it could just mean there's something you feel that they're keeping from you. Okay, because we have this moon here twice. And this time here it's in reverse. So this is strong Pisces energy. Let's see what's up with this King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? Oh. Oh, Emperor, that's definitely fire energy. That's Aries. Um, definitely powerful energy uh, about knowing what you want, going for what you want. Ten of Swords in Reverse, that's getting over some pain. Queen of Pentacles. You're not feeling too stable right now. This tower may have shaken you up. I want to see what that is. Two Cups in Yeah. So now we've got the Hermit. I think right now you're kind of keeping to yourself, trying to get over some kind of pain. Yeah, Page of Pentacles in reverse, so you're not really moving towards this person with anything. Wow. Two of Cups for the second time with a different deck. <laughs> you're, you're really unsure about this person for some reason, okay? I, I don't know why. Um, I think that it's confusion, and I think that this hermit here is, it's, it's saying you're trying to, like, withdraw a little bit from the, from their energy, I'm trying to maybe figure this out, okay? It's an, it's an energy of being unsure about this connection. Okay, so the moon is being clarified by the Page of Cups. That's, that's not offering anything emotional there. 
I, you're trying to get over maybe some remorse about something here. Remorse about maybe something you, you feel that you need to tell them. Okay. And King of Pentacles in reverse. You may not feel that they're stable enough for you. I'm not sure. Maybe you feel they're not financially stable enough. Or they're not maybe loyal enough. Queen of Cups with the Tower. So Queen of Cups. This is the Queen of Love here. Okay. This is Water Energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Coming in with the Tower. Your emotions are changing. Let me have two more on that. Something is changing for you emotionally. Yeah. And it's causing you... Um, causing you some anxiety. Causing you to be up in your head about this connection. That It's that confusion I was talking about here with this Two of Cups in reverse with the Hermit. I have one more on that. Nine of Pentacles. So you're, you're pretty independent. Okay? Nine of Pentacles, this is the card of being single, independent, you know, secure, stable. Maybe that's it. Maybe you're afraid that they will, I don't know, affect your stability somehow or affect you financially or change your independence. Why is temperance here? Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Two more. Two more on temperance. High Priestess. Came out sideways. It, it, it almost feels like you're waiting for... This is sort of what I'm feeling now. Okay, now we have the Knight of Swords. You know, now... <laughs> it, it's not like... Because I thought it was confusion at first. What I think it really is, we've got the temperance here and the five of pentacles, okay? Five of pentacles, that's fear of abandonment, fear of not having enough, fear of being left out. Um, and the high priestess, it's, it's almost as if you're waiting for the other shoe to drop you're it's it's like it's a it's an energy of this person is too good to be true and i'm afraid that somewhere down the road it's going to fall apart and this person is going to abandon me so maybe i'll just shut it down now before that can happen two of cups in reverse twice Okay, let's go over to their side. Let's get the Six of Wands. Why is this here? King of Wands. Well, they got a lot of fire energy. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They know what they want. That's for sure. Oh, three cups. Yeah, three cups in reverse. See, they may, you know, they got this fire energy, and it's an energy of, this um, casualness, okay, kind of a, it's not a strong commitment. Oh, and they have the tower too. See, they're also, they also have changes going on. The changes they have going on, hmm, Ace of Cups, that's a love offer. I feel like if they haven't done this yet, they are, they do want to offer you, it's an energy of wanting to be exclusive with you. I think it is giving them anxiety. It's <clears throat> kind of like, it's like, a, oh, I've been playing the field, you know, casually dating, you know, multiple people. Um, but now I'm really, you know, really attracted to Virgo. I really want to be with Virgo, um, but I, but I can't believe I'm feeling this way. You know, I didn't want to be exclusive with someone okay and it's it's giving them anxiety yeah king of pentacles again on this 
Eight of Swords. It's like, you know, King of Pentacles, he's loyal, stable, committed, the whole thing. Shows up. See? Death in rebirth. Death in reverse. This person is changing, okay? It's kind of like their feelings are bringing on this change for them, and it's causing them some anxiety. It's kind of like it, you know, this tower moment, like, came out of the blue for them. Like, whoa, I didn't expect to feel this way, okay? Yeah, the Empress. This is Taurus energy. It's about manifesting, giving birth to things, okay? They want to have a relationship with you and only you, and I, I believe they're seeing you as this Empress as well, okay? Nurturing, loving, also loyal. Why is this King of Cups here in reverse? Ooh. Lovers in reverse. Gemini energy. Two more. Six of Wands again. Seven of Wands. Either it's like they're trying to. It's like they're trying to fight it, but it's not working. <laughs> okay. It it just. And I see this lover's card in reverse, just like I see the two of cups in reverse over here on your end. Okay. It, it's, that's not how they really feel. They may be acting like, oh no, I don't want that. But they do. They're just having a hard time dealing with that fact. Okay. It's like they're struggling with it. Because they didn't expect it. Why is the King of Pentacles here? I'm going to hit my lap. Queen of Swords, Air Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. See, they're trying to be all up in their head instead of in their emotions. And they're really thinking about, you know, they're thinking about this. They're thinking like, well, you know, I'm usually not this King of Pentacles commitment, loyal, stable person here with relationships. And now clarifying that, we have the Hierophant again. Remember their overall energy when I started, bottom of the deck was the Hierophant. Um, Hierophant, again, that is commit commitment energy. Okay. Let's see what this Knight of Wands is going to tell us. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Seven of Swords. See, this is how they normally are. This is, you know, Seven of Swords. They may be like getting, you know, dating four people and telling everybody that, oh, I'm only dating, you know, one more person or whatever, you know, and trying to get away with that. Aces, yeah. See, they're usually not truthful in their relationships, but now. New perspective, hitting them over the head. It's like someone's smacking them up upside the head. <laughs> Hangman, they're really getting a good look. Like, whoa, they're, they're getting a brand new perspective with you, okay? That's why they're having this tower moment here, and it's freaking them out, honestly. Seven of Wands. See, Seven of Wands, they're trying to put up this fight. They're trying to fight it. See, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Two more. Chariot in reverse. They're, they're, this is, they're, they're, they don't have the will and determination to fight this. They're determined to fight it, but it's not working, okay? Uh, this is Cancer Energy. One more. They're trying to fight it, and it's not working. And even though I feel this person has kind of got this, well, I shouldn't say kind of, it's almost like they're a player, okay? They, this casual dating energy. Um, too many cards, way too many cards. Um, casual energy. You 
you look at them and it's like, wow, that that's the person for me, okay? If they could just get out of that player energy, but at the same time, it's it's an energy of this person is too, too good to be true, okay? They treat me well. I'm attracted to them. We have things in common. You know, the whole, they check all the boxes. So it's kind of like you're both dealing with separate things here. Let's get... Uh, Possible outcome here. Possible outcome. Seven of Swords in reverse. That's an end to that deception on their end. What else? Possible outcome between Virgo and this person. Nine of Wands. That's determined energy for me. Strength in reverse. Going to be difficult. Possible outcome, four cups. There's that four cups again. Kind of not seeing what's in front of you. I think you both see what's in front of you, actually. I think you're both realizing that. But see, right now, you're both you're kind of stuck in these, you know, big changes in how you're feeling. Let's get some romance cards. I feel like the energy here will change. Uh, I feel like they will make a move at some point to tell you what they want, okay? I don't think it's right now. I think it's going to take a while. Okay, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept for support from others. What else? Some more romance angel cards for Virgo. Romance Angel cards for Virgo. Let me get a few more. Okay, there. Oh, all right. I'm losing them. I've got this thing on my thumb. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Don't ignore red flags, okay? You may think they're good to be true, but this one red red flag is this player type of energy. I feel they are moving away from that because, because of you, okay? But it may take a while. Or they may not move out of it at all, all right? This is the energy that I'm getting right now. So, um, you know, never ignore those red flags, people, because we get in trouble. <laughs> we get in trouble when we do that, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay, Virgo, I hope this helped for some of you. Uh, if it did, feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, if you could uh, hit that like button, I would appreciate it. I hope everybody enjoys the rest of their day and have a great weekend. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.